Alright, now that you've created your Morse code, let's go ahead and create the SVG file using Tinkercad that can be utilized by our laser cutter. Uh, it's a very simple process, but I'm going to encourage you first to actually start with the micro bit in place on the screen here. It makes it easier for us to build anything out. So what you're going to do is click on this area, it was on basic shapes here, click on this drop down menu, select components. Once you've selected components, scroll down, grab micro bit, and you can click on it, should enter in, you might have to drag it over. Uh, just kind of depends on how fast your internet is going to be running. You can see I'm lagging a little bit, and that's very common uh, using this. Next, let's go to basic shape. Let's grab a box. Let's put our box into place. And I selected the whole variant of the box. And the reason for that is... We want to make sure that whatever we create here is going to be set as a cutout. Now, right now what we're doing is we're building out a 3D file, but the SVG only reads two dimensions for cutting. Uh, so we're going to grab this. You can use the box if you want. Drop that. Let's delete that. Uh, just showing you what the cylinder looks like here. You'll have to resize that appropriately as well. Let's drop that here. Just make sure we're hovering over the buttons. Now that I have this the right size, I've selected Control C, Control V. I've made a, another variant of that. And now I can put these in place. I can spend some time trying to center them. It's up to you. Next, let's grab our box. And we need to make our box with enough size to hold uh, Morse code information so we can be looking at our device while we're sending it so we know exactly what it looks like. Mine looks very similar to an old Game Boy. Uh, you can change this how you want. You can change the thickness. It doesn't really matter, again, because the um, SVG file is going to be read as a two-dimensional file. Now that I have this, I can go in and I want to add some text. So maybe I'll grab this text here, and I can resize it. And then you're going to have to look up Morse code specifically. So Morse code, grab this. Just grab some images, and you can build this out from there. What's important is as you're building this out, so I'll show you how to do the letter A here, is let's send it to A, and then let's do dot dash, like that. So I have this, I'm going to have to resize it, but I need to make it the whole setting so it will actually read as a cut out item. You can do this and then go through, resize it, however small you need. And I might recommend once you get the right sizing, control C, control V, and then just place these where you need them. C, okay, control V. And don't forget, Control v is going to be your best friend uh, with this, mainly because, well, you know, it undoes everything. If you have any questions or are running into any issues, please leave a comment on this video, let me know in class, or, uh, you know, leave a comment on the classroom page. Make sure you are doing A through Z for Morse code. If you want to go crazy and make numbers, go for it. You do not have to make it look specifically like this. You could actually widen out the whole thing so you have enough room on everything. But you need to make sure you have at least these basic com components of the box, circles for the button, and then where you're going to place your text on there. Uh, once you have all that created too, uh, you might want to try and find the micro bit that's located in here and then delete it out as well. Finally, just uh, one thing I forgot to add here is on your export, uh, when you send me the file, so you will have to send me specifically, specifically the file once it's done, export SVG. And that's going to download it for you, and you can upload that into Classroom uh, where I can grab that and then run it through the laser cutter for you.